Two brothers were sentenced to 20 years in prison for trying to kill their parents last year. First of all, I'd like to apologize. 23-year-old Christopher Irvin and his 19-year-old brother Cameron pled guilty to 13 charges in connection with the crime at their Atlanta area home in September 2015, in which they allegedly drugged their parents, Yvonne and Zachary, beat them, stabbed them, and tried to set the house on fire. They're trying to strangle us and shoot us, and they put Xanax in our food, and they let me thought we were asleep. They tried to attack us. They beat me up. They beat him up. They're trying to kill us. I'm sorry. This is their mother's chilling 911 call, a desperate attempt to save her life and her husband's. Despite the horror they went through, these parents have forgiven their boys and asked the judge for mercy. And I don't see myself as a victim. I'm a father first. Knew that it was something terribly, terribly that went wrong uh, during this span. And I had no other choice but to forgive them. The prosecution asked for 50 years, but the judge sentenced them to 20 years with 30 years of probation, and they will be eligible for parole after 10 years. I'm extremely regretful. These decisions are never easy for the court. The brothers apologized, expressed remorse, and pled guilty to their crimes. They also expressed their love for their parents, who they will only be able to see when they come to visit them in prison. <sighs> Stupid motherfuckers. Savages. Don't you know how much I would give to have both my parents? Not to mention good parents. It's, it's niggas like you. They get good niggas like me a bad name. Um, 20 years, man. Y'all need to get at least 60. Maybe before they're 50. You try to kill your parents, man. I can see if your parents were molesting you or, or sticking a probe in your ass. You know, I'm really explicit on stuff like this because, like I said, I grew up and, and a lot of parents, I, I didn't get no emotional support or no type of fucking support. And you, you niggas go out here and, and you do this to good parents, man. And not to mention the neighborhood, the guy I stayed in looked like, like a nice neighborhood, one of the projects. And, um, very sickening. I think it said that you put Xanax or they put Xanax in, in a drink or something. I don't know. Man. I was so disgusted by it. I didn't want to watch it. But um, the dad was like, man, he forgive him. Man, my dad won't even won't forgive me for for not being mad at him because he owed me money. You know, it's crazy. My dad won't even forgive me just because he just want to have something to do. You know, uh, just to have something to hold against me. And I never did that to that guy. Just to keep it real, you know. But it's very sick, man. You guys, man. Like I said, we're taking a lot of L's this year, man. We all taking L's, you know. And um, I kind of lost count. You know. Hopefully, uh, 20 years, man, you guys can educate yourself. You know, read a couple of books and um, cover your butt cheeks. Because sick, man. You know. I said a lot of people wish for good parents, people in foster homes. It's a lot of women getting raped, a lot of boys molested, and all kind of stuff going on. Y'all want to pull stunts like this, man. I'm pretty sure that your parents would do anything for you. But if y'all feel that I am in the wrong, please comment below.